Hello my viewers, today I'm going to do a review on the no freeze control and uh, as you can see, let's see, it is a recognized component by Interlock, uh, it's assembled in the USA um, if you have any questions you can always go to uh, nofreezecontrol.com uh, it comes with a three year warranty what it's about uh, is there's a board in here. I already, I've already taken the board out of the Mylar bag that come in. This board will prevent uh, your evaporator coil from icing up. Whether it's because your blower motor quit your, or maybe you have a low refrigerant in your system, uh, whichever the case may be, uh, this will cut out a call for compressor and um, it, it just it it just will not allow the uh, coil to freeze up. It comes with uh, you know installation instructions that's in English and both in Spanish. Uh, also comes with an installation template that makes it a little bit easier to uh, line up these standoffs to where you're installing it on to say a, a metal plate or, uh, or blower housing. Uh, this is a uh, the wiring out that you would need for the install. Let's see, get it out of the baggie here. Um, it comes with, um, let's see, uh, looks like a uh, uh, let's see, the two wires that you will need uh, to cut out your call for Y and uh, also uh, your uh, 24 volt wires feeding the board and the sensor that will get installed to uh, into the evaporator coil uh, this is a clip that clips the sensor onto probably a loop or something. Um, and a couple of small gray wire nuts. <laughs> Welcome to my air handler again. And uh, this time I'm installing this no freeze control board by KBE Incorporated. The manufacturer does recommend that you install the no freeze control board in the control section of the air handler nearest to the control transformer uh, but sometimes it's difficult to really fit it in there properly so they do say that you can actually mount it on the blower housing and, uh, which is what I'm going to have to do the first thing we'll do is uh, Mount uh, puts a little template here. Now I'm going to lose my wiring diagram that's on the blower housing. Well, to, to me, that's not a big deal. Um, if I needed that wiring diagram, I might as well stay home instead of going to work, quite honestly, because <laughs> you know that's pretty basic anyway. Um, the uh, let me see if I can get the the backing off this template. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'll stick this template right here. Okay, and then I can take a, a drill motor with a 1 8 drill bit and drill some holes where they're marked for. That's one. Three, 
that's four. So now I suppose you don't, I mean if you really need this diagram you're not going to lose control or excuse me, uh, complete access to it. But uh, you will have, you would have to actually take and remove uh, these standoffs uh, which probably isn't that big of a deal really to to see the your uh, wiring diagram. So we'll go ahead and push these where they go. Okay, in the holes. Um, there and one more here. Um, there we go. Very good. And it's in there. Next step, uh, I just noticed something, I, got, I almost got it back upside down, but that's okay, it doesn't matter, upside down, sideways, however. Um, so, next step is wiring the 24 volts to the uh, board. So, let's see, I'll put my uh, this is my tw where the 24 volts connect right here I'll connect my common here and the 24 volt wire here okay and then let's see um, Be able to run my wires up through up through here into the control section. Any hole that you may have will do. Here we go. There's my 24 volt wires. So, I'm going to have to uh, figure out exactly where to connect that. So next, would be the, these are the wires that would go to the uh, signal for, for Y1, according to the instructions. So, Put these on the board and run these wires up into the cabinet with the control section. There we go. Okay. Well, I went ahead and I clipped the uh, sensor to uh, a loop on the, on the coil. Uh, that clip is uh, designed, I think, more for a 516 uh, type of uh, size copper, but I and I have uh, three eighths. But I mean, I got it on there just by um, you know, a few choice words in the process and um, doing some uh, uh, modifications to that that steel clip. So now I can connect the other end uh, to this board like this. This is, should be the easier part of this. And here, here we go. The kit does not come in with any uh, tie straps or anything like that, so be prepared to have some on hand so you can strap your wires uh, the way you want them but again here we go the yellow wires uh, cut out uh, Y1 and the blue and the red wires is your uh, 24 volts the biggest part of the control is the reset button anytime the system is going to freeze 
the light will flash indicating the system was shut off. It will not come back on until the tech comes out to service the unit. He needs to press the reset button to check the system. This way he is able to diagnose and fix the unit without having to return the next day due to the freeze up. So I went ahead and wired everything according to the wiring diagram in the uh, instructions. And I'm about ready to turn the air handler on and we'll see what exactly board does. There we go. Turn it back on. There we go. We got a light. The uh, steady light indicates is that uh, you know, a, an indicator light, if it's solid, okay, which it is, um, the system is above 29 degrees and uh, uh, will and is not froze up. So that's a good thing. Um, so anyway, as soon as the thermostat comes out of time delay, then uh, should come on. And it has come on. All right. Well, I guess that makes this a successful install.